Hello Leo and welcome to your Coffee Cup reading for the week ahead of July 3rd. Okay, overall I do see you may be pulled in two different directions. There can be some travel, maybe going to two places or trying to decide between two places. There can be a win-win situation too. We're seeing that. So that in success in some area, you know, it's a general. Your perspectives this week with either work or whatever you do most of the day are uh, changing or you want it to change. Okay, you could be a little bit restless. You want more fun. Uh, you want to shake things up. That's what's showing up too. There is unexpected responses with people around you though. So that does show up. Some of you take more of a conservative approach though. But there is a lot of ideas going on through your mind. Okay, so we're seeing that there. Some situations are confusing. Okay, this could be, you know, connected more to the matter of the heart. You're trying to figure out what's going on, like in love. Um, you may be wondering where you stand. That's what's showing up for some. What you see in front of you is the reality of the situation, good or bad. So that did show up, okay? Um, now, taking emotional-based risks now is not a good idea because you got like an, a cross and a yellow here. Um, unless you are very sure it's going, it will work, okay? It's a little tricky here. So... Yeah, don't take any risks or make any emotional-based decisions right now. So that's showing up there, too. There could be someone leaving the home. You could be traveling. Someone could be coming in the home. There is some a little bit of change and shift there, too, or really thoughts of people from the past a soulbone from the past or situation can be surfacing okay coming directly into your foundation or home that you need to deal with so that did show up okay you are more reflective in reassessing things okay you may be even reconsidering some goals you had um or strategies okay money is on the mind now are you know are you using your money and your resources to you know your to your benefit to or a maximum benefit that is something to think about here that showed up okay that's something to ponder uh reevaluating your potentials okay how to grow um in different fields how to maneuver some things maybe some past issues are going to come back and you're going to be reevaluating your potentials or what to do with it, okay? You benefit from others' input and advice, though, here, okay? So that's coming in, too, all right? Yeah. Okay. On the plate. Okay, I do see, you know, for some wishes, they may, came, they may come true or hope. For others, you know, prayer, you know, pray for some things there that did show up there. Um, there is a focus on you, okay, focusing on yourself or neglected issues, maybe of your health is another thing or your well-being, uh, okay, but there is creative, um, fo it's a good, it's good to focus on your creative talents and, um, creative solutions, so that did come in here. You may be a little bit more to yourself, too, in your thoughts, you don't want to express much, a lot could be going on. All right. Uh, some of you may feel victimized by something, you know, and you feel you're out of control over something that did show up. OK, now with much still up in the air. OK, there's major decisions or things up in the air are showing up with goals that are um, in focus. All right. That is showing up. Also, there is messages and good news coming through. Supportive people coming through. So pay attention to some messages too. Maybe you'll hear something, but you may be hearing some, um, oops, some news. Some is good. Some can be even um, from a romantic partner. Now, there can be some things coming back from the past. That is showing up. 
you could be dealing with some karmic issues too okay so that did show up there's quite a bit here though all right um i'm going to pull spirit spiritual animal cards for the month of july one for your um you know your main message outer circumstances and then a underlining energy message or a, a um additional message now two when i did shuffle two uh popped out for your external messages so let's see what you got you got rattlesnake the experiences that you're presently going through are initiation into fulfilling your purpose as a healer all right now you know when i do the coffee cups and i give you those messages money's in focus people coming back this and that i always look at the symbols and a lot of them are animal symbols okay so i'm going to elaborate what the raw rattlesnake would mean or a snake when i see a snake even eels depends on where and what in the coffee cup what i usually see with this is I see initiate, initiate carefully though, okay? I mean, snakes are very careful. So initiate, yes, but carefully. With respect, all right? That definitely always comes through when I see this. Detaching though, okay? You need to detach from things. You need to separate things. There is a sense of renewal coming here. What you hear, pay attention to any messages that you hear. Um, if you hear a song repeat all the time, there could be a message there. If um, you see the same time all the time, there could be a message there. Your your dreams, maybe people will be repeating something. You know what I mean? Just listen to messages very carefully. Being also more agile, okay? Wisdom comes through here. Creativity comes through here. Use your primal energy, okay? So that really comes through. Now, I also do always see healing here. Health and well-being does come through here, so you need to take care of that. Uh, you, some of you could be dealing with hospitals and doctors or just the medical field. Sometimes you're going into the medical field. There, um, there is definitely transformation and resurrection. I mean, we're talking about resurrecting type of energies. Shedding the old for the new. Okay, death and rebirth does come through this. Okay, so we're going through that. You're, we're seeing that. There is, for me, the snake will also don, don, um, sometimes donate like money um, is in focus. There could be changes for good or for bad, but mostly it's um, for good. And what, what I mean bad sometimes, it's uh, you need to, uh, clearing off debt comes in here too, okay? Um, also, it does, to me, snakes show sexuality, okay? Um, they, they're, they're notable energies, okay? But I do sometimes see this with other people. Watch it. There could be a snake in the grass that does bring up enemies. But it, you would be a formidable enemy too um, to that person or to the adversary. So th those are the messages that come through when I do see that. And you got another one for the overall oh, energy. And you got seagull. Now is the time for deep emotional healing. Okay, that is connecting with the rattlesnake. When I see um birds similar to seagulls or i see the seagull um it tells me that you need to be more observant okay swift meaning being able to move fast if you need to um opportunistic sometimes you know you're you're thirsty for opportunities but you've got to proceed um careful and make it a balance give and take um carefree there's a sense of uh, being more carefree, but sometimes you have to, you know, be more serious. So, but there's a sense of being uh, carefree. Versatile energy comes through here. Resourcefulness comes through here. Intelligence, too, with both cards, okay? Uh, communications. Birds always denote communications. And seagulls usually bring sometimes news from the distance. Or, like we saw in this week's reading, things coming from the past. Maybe hearing from people from the past or from distance, uh, from the distance. Because uh, it does talk about, like I said, communication, socializing, okay? Um, being protective. And there's messages. The seagull or um, they bring sometimes me spiritual messages from the distance. So we're talking, uh, talking about messages uh, from your spirit guides, angels, things like that, okay? Um, it is emotional. There is emotions that show up here, okay? So it's um, you're more emotional or it, these messages could be very emotional, 
um, respect comes through here and fairness. Okay, so those are the things that we see there. Now, the card you got for your underlining energy or additional messages for the month of July is the goose. Okay, it says take time to rest and recuperate rather than continuing your strive. All right, so when I see the goose come up or very similar animals, um, you know, birds like the goose, to me, this would always say perseverance. Also migration sometimes, okay? You may um, go somewhere for a while, like you go home um, to visit your parents, for example, and you stay with them for a few months or something. Uh, people flocking together. That's what I see sometimes. And like I said, migration too. This is also being more level-headed, sensible, okay? Loyalty comes through here or loyalty issues. Family does come through here as in focus. Um, determined energy comes through here. Being resourceful, okay? So we're seeing that with these two come connecting together. Some of you could be on a quest, a mission, okay? So that comes through when I see birds like this, okay? There could be a mission or a quest. Um, compassion and conservation, again, like we saw this week is really see where your money's going, um, or is it benefiting you for the better, things like that. So con conserving your energy, your strength, your health, your finances, whatever, because it depends on where I do see it in the cup of the came out is a message. Okay, now, if you do all those things, another message I always see with the goose um, is it can bring you profit later, you know, like laying the golden egg, okay, reaping those rewards later. So that's what shows up here. Another thing I do see associated this, if I see it with other people, it could be watch out for gossip. You could be um, gossiped about or you could be in part of gossip with someone, you know, and be careful of that, okay, because gossip is gossip. So those are the messages that came through. Well, Leo, that was your reading for the week ahead of uh, July 3rd. And these were the spiritual animal card messages for the month of July. And I hope you have a wonderful week. And I'll catch you back here next week for your next coffee cup reading. Until then, all the best and bye for now.